despite the fact that she had this sense of competition with the other wives, etc., mm -hmm. and and vice versa, when it came to the crunch, they were honest and they told the truth. So even you know during the incident of the slander, when uh, when Zainab bint Jahsh, one of the other wives of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, was asked about Aisha, and she was like quite a rival of Aisha's, you know, they were quite uh, competitive with each other, the Prophet Sallallahu attention. Still, when it came to the crunch, Zainab said, I don't know anything but good about her, right? Mm -hmm. Even when Zainab passed away later on, mm -hmm. Aisha praised her mm -hmm. and mentioned all of the good things that she used to do, right? Um, SubhanAllah. So, Yes. What that kind of shows us is, yes, you have ups and downs. Yes, mm -hmm. you might not gel with everybody, right? Um, everyone you come across in life, mm -hmm. but that shouldn't make you unjust, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, subhanAllah, that, that moment in that story, it's so beautiful and it's so moving because it, I think we can all sort of imagine ourselves in that position when your you know adversary whatever it is in in work or or in a similar situation that they're finally at the point where they could fall and you have the opportunity to just <laughs> just push them the knife in, <laughs> but right? let, let it you know let the let it all you know sort of fall where it's going and you don't you know alhamdulillah you are held back it's such a beautiful example like the, she had everything to gain from saying even just something small that could put doubt um but she did it subhanallah and, and that also helped to mend their relationship that moment is really beautiful 